Morse 8 Series E. The Series E announced in October 1938 brought a major restyle with a waterfall dummy grille, headlights in the wings and the running boards had gone. The car was longer, wider and heavier but the wheelbase was actually 1 inch, 25 millimeters, shorter at 7 feet 5 inches, 2.26 meters. There was now an inbuilt luggage compartment with external access with a space available of close on 5 cubic feet with the door closed. There was also a parcels tray the full width of the dashboard. The alligator bonnet was now rear hinged making engine access poor. The engine was upgraded to the Morris USHM series, getting a new cylinder head, still side valve however, the unit being very similar to those used in series 1 and 2 cars. Increased power to 29 bhp, 22 kilowatts, was now available and the crankshaft was counterbalanced and fitted with shell type bearings. The gearbox was now 4-speed with synchro mesh on 2nd, 3rd and top. The Lucas Electrics remained at 6 volts, but now with automatic regulation of the dynamo in a 2-brush system. Top speed was around 58 miles per hour, 93 kilometers per hour. Production continued through the war for the military, essential civilian use and some export. Post-war general production race started in 1945 but there were no more tours made in the UK. In Australia, however, a flourishing bodybuilding industry continued to provide tour versions on imported chassis, mechanicals. The engine went on to be used, with very minor changes, in the series M from 1948 till 1953 Morris Minor and was also adapted as an auxiliary power unit in Centurion. Conqueror and Chieftain tanks. Morse also used this engine as the basis of special marine and stationary power plants. Post-war cars were sometimes fitted with vertical lensed headlights, to get better lighting. A very similarly styled Wolseley 8 was also prepared in the 1930s and offered after 1945. An original 1939 prototype survives, having for many years been owned by Lord Nuffield. 